Hey, what's going on guys? So moving on with the lessons, now we're actually entering the next section and that section is going to be designated and based around keyframes and uh, overall we're going to kick it off with a explanation and overall just uh, giving you guys a little bit more information into the way I see keyframes and the general purpose that they serve within Premiere Pro. Now, keyframes are essentially uh, our way of actually telling the program, hey, Premiere, track what I'm about to do. Keep track of this right here. It's important, and I want to make sure that you actually uh, keep track of the parameters changing and the variables that I'm about to shift. So, for example, just to give you a hands-on practical example, this uh, shot right here is a shot of me just walking along by the river or whatever, right? But the thing is, I might want to zoom this shot in or I, I, I might want to start it for example on a 150 um, scale and have that actually zooming into a hundred so hypothetically speaking if I wanted to have it at 150 scale at zero seconds but then I wanted it to be let's say a hundred scale at three seconds I've already put 150 there at at um, zero if I were to put 100 here at three it obviously hasn't tracked any of that movement. It's just done that as one set scale change instead of doing what I wanted it to do in my head. It's and 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 that would have been track that so that it ends up at three seconds at a hundred scale, but at zero seconds is at one fifty scale to create the illusion that is zooming out. And that's where the keyframes come into because the keyframes essentially are telling that program, hey. Pay attention, I'm about to change this right here and I need you to actually track this for me. So for example, if we were to go back to three seconds and just go ahead and actually toggle animation on, aka creating a keyframe, that is going to tell our program right now that at three seconds on the dot, this image is at 100 scale. Likewise, any of the other parameters, if we were to put the position toggle animation on here at um, three seconds, it's going to tell it at three seconds, this is 1920 by 1080 right here, okay? So likewise, if we were to then go to one second or, or zero seconds rather and change that to 150 because we've already told the program that at three seconds is at 100, now that that's still on, obviously here, if it's 150, it has to create, and when we play it, I'll see, you'll see all these numbers change, but it has to create this parameter change between these two keyframes that we've actually told, because at zero seconds, it's 150, and at three seconds, it gets to 100. Likewise, with the position, okay, because we haven't changed that, it obviously has yet to come up with another keyframe, because it is the same all the way, but if we were to actually go in here, and just go ahead and drag this maybe uh, down a little bit down here, so it starts here, and it even starts over here to the left, because we've just changed that, and we have our keyframes on, it is going to zoom up from the left, because it knows that down here, it is located, located at 2845 by 592, but at 3 seconds, it's at 920 by 1080 because we told it to keep track of those parameters via the keyframes and that I believe is a good explanation to you guys of keyframes they are essentially how you would tell the program hey pay attention we need uh, we need these changes to the parameters that I'm about to perform to be tracked so that it is not just one overall change and that we actually um, ca actually capture the buildup here of us changing all these little parameters in between